Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video. This is actually part of a blog hop as Alta New has just released new products. I am browsing uh, quickly through all the new products. You get stencils and uh, lots of uh, new stamps and dies. There are lots of giveaways as we celebrate this new release and tons of inspiration, so make sure to head over to my blog to learn all about it. You will find the link down below if you are watching on YouTube. Now again I'm browsing quickly through the stamps, you will find stamps with flowers, you will find one with lots of gifts, this one is great because it gives you many many sentiments for many occasions, this is just stunning, it is so elegant and I will be using it in a future card. And of course they have an amazing flower collection of stamps and this release gives you many of them, look how stunning these are. And finally you get this one which is actually for decorating your envelopes. And there are two dies that I will be working with today that you haven't seen here, but let's take a quick look on what else they have released. They have released three different colors of a uh, sequence and on each and every one of those uh, jars there is actually a um, mix. So you will get different sizes of the same color sequence, but you will also find that uh, it comes with tiny little bits inside as well, all in the same color. This is antique gold, this is satin gold and satin white. And finally they have released this Crafters Essential stamping mat. This is actually a silicone mat. It is non-slip, so if you place it on top of your surface it's not going to move all over the place. It is really easy to clean up and it is heat resistant. Now of course you can work on top of it and do your stamping, your water coloring, in blending, heat embossing, whatever your are your crafting needs. And here are the two dies that I will be working with today from the latest release. This is the Dog Rose Panel A. These are sold separately, you can use them completely separately, but you can combine them if you like. And today I'm going to show you three different cards. In one of them I'm going to combine them and you will end up with a lovely layering die cut effect. And in the other two cards I will be using each and every one separately. For my first card I will combine the two panels and I'm going for a gradient uh, die cutting look. This is the gradient cardstock set Cherry Blossom that gives you four different colors. The fun part is that these dies fit uh, beautifully inside my mini die cutting machine and as you can see just because they are very intricate I'm using the metal shim just to make sure that uh, they are going to cut out nicely with one passing. Now this is panel B, so this is going to go behind panel A. Now I'm preparing my sandwich for the panel A and this time I'm going with a lighter color of cardstock. Again panel A is going to go at the top, I'm running it through my die cutting machine and I absolutely love this uh, die cutting machine, this is the mini blossom by Alta New, it's so small and handy. You can keep it on top of your craft desk since it's so small and I like it because it is easy to bring it in camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm making sure that I will not throw away the cutouts since I'm going for an inlay die cutting technique for the next card so I'm just going to put those aside. Now it's time to put together my focal point and the back I'm going to use white glue and that's my Nouveau Deluxe glue. Of course you can use double sided tape at the back before you die cut the whole piece so you can, all you have to do at the end is to just peel it off and you have a sticker. This is a technique that I always forget to do so I'm just going with my trusted Nouveau Deluxe glue. Now I'm going to stick it on top of a darker shade of pink. And uh, of course I'm using here a scrap piece of cardstock that I have used previously for another project. And the truth is that I keep all bits and pieces of um, scrap cardstock because you never know where you are going to use it. So again I'm working on panel A this time, adding some glue at the back. And the fun part about using this glue is that it's going to dry completely clear, it's not going to show at all or be glossy. So I don't care if I add uh, too much uh, glue at some areas. I'm going to stick that on top, make sure that I align everything correctly. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut all around this uh, rectangle. This is going to be the focal point for my card. 
And this would look beautiful with any color combo. I think it would make a beautiful uh, focal point with oranges and yellows, as well as uh, with blues, with purples. Just play along with any color combination that you have uh, on your stash. Now, on my background panel, I used the dotted starburst, the boss and cover dye. This is a new favorite, and I think I will be using it again and again. It uh, adds just enough interest on the background, but it is very subtle. And finally, for my sentiment, I, I went with Have a Super Day from the sentiment strips to stamp set, and I finished it off with a few gems here and there. Here are some close up photos on the first card for today where I combined both the panels for a gradient look. For the second card, I will use only panel A and I'm going for the inlay die cutting technique. So I have a scrap piece of paper here which I'm covering up completely with double sided tape. This scrap of paper is uh, roughly bigger than the actual panel and you can see on the top uh, right side there that I have already cut out my panel A out of gold cardstock. Now I'm going to place it on top and of course this uh, white panel is completely sticky at the back. And now I'm going to use the leftovers from the previous card and just put them inside the gaps. These are going to fall nicely inside. It is just like a puzzle. And notice that I have some green pieces. I just die cut this panel A one more time from green cardstock so that I can use bits and pieces for the leaves. Now I'm not going to fill in all the gaps. You see that I'm going to add only the light pink cardstock where the flowers are and the green where the leaves are. But there are bits and pieces that are left over, sticky at the end. You can of course die cut this one more time from white cardstock and put all those little bits and pieces there. But I went for an easier way. Instead of having to uh, fight with all the tiny little pieces, I'm just going to use glitter on top of it. This is going to stick wherever there is a sticky area. It's going to give a nice shine. You can always burnish the glitter down with your finger or with your bone folder if you don't like to uh, touch glitter. This is going to stick nicely there inside those gaps. And my focal point is ready, nice and shiny. I'm going to put all that white glitter back in the jar. I popped this on my card base with foam tape at the back and I just stamped best wishes from the sentiment stamp set. And here are some close-up photos and probably you can see in this photo better the glitter, the white glitter that I have in between the gaps. And now finally let's make a card by using just panel B. This time I die cut it from gold cardstock again and I'm going for a very elegant looking card. I'm going to use this rectangle that is slightly smaller than the actual panel and I'm going for a shaker card this time. I'm working on an ivory card base. I die cut the window and now at the back I'm using double sided tape to go all around the window. I'm going to peel it off and then on top I will stick this acetate which is actually recycled, it is part of a packaging. I'm going to add glue all around the edge and stick that directly on top. Now of course you can use the actual panel to die cut the window, so this way the die cut is going to fall right inside on the acetate. So now I have a lovely window there and all I need to do now is to add some foam tape all around at the back. Now if you are wondering and I get a lot of questions about that, my big roll of um, uh, foam tape is by Arteza, it is super cheap. And I do have a coupon code for you for the whole Arteza site, so check out below in the details. I will use the Satin White Sequin Mix, and I think that the ivory with uh, that mix and gold make a really elegant card. Now I'm going to use white glue over the foam tape, although this is sticky, just so that I can slide it and make sure that I have aligned it correctly with my card base. I need to have a small border all around. This would make a great card for an anniversary as well as for a wedding card. For the sentiment I went with Just For You that I stamped with Ultimate Metallic Gold Alt New Pigment Ink.
Here are some close-up photos on the last card for today where I used just panel B. And here are all the three cards together where I used a combination of the two panels, each panel separately and many techniques including inlay die cutting, a shaker card and die cut layering. And that was the project for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those three cards was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.